you spend so much time, you know, uh, trying to understand your new gear that you actually have little time to produce good work, you know, good image. End of the day, it's just a camera, it's just a lens. It's just that now with technology, you can have like what, 100 and something AF point, but if you don't use that 100 plus AF point, I don't see a point why you need to have a 100 plus AF point. <laughs> like for me personally, my shooting style, I just use one AF point. Most of the photographers that I idolize, either from the 1940s all the way to 1980s. So during back then, there was no digital camera. We were just all on film. And when I see their work, you know, it makes me think uh, with so little equipment, they can actually produce, I mean, work that are, till today, uh, is relevant. So it really makes me think, uh, you know, like, I have a lot of gear, and up I have no result. But on the other hand, these uh, photographers, they only carry maybe one body, one lens, and they have tons of result. What I'm using is a Leica M8. It's one of the first Leica uh, digital M series. So the reason why I use this uh, because it's light. You know, I, I'm a lazy guy, so it's light. <laughs> it have a very minimal function. Uh. What you need have here is an on and off switch button, shutter speed, and then your lens are all manual. That's it. You cannot take burst shot with this. There's no such thing as no, you don't do machine gun with this. One shot, one shot. It's exactly the same as how a film camera works, but without the lever. I tend to not rush for shot. I will have the shot already composed in my mind, and when it's ready, I just like go, then up. That's it. So, how much is your camera set up? This is easily 7,000 plus. I gave you a beginner DSLR. Can you give me the same results? I think uh, if you challenge me now, I think I should be able to do it because the gear is just a gear. Nowadays, even I sometimes shoot with my handphone. I can see I, the work that I shot on my handphone and on my camera are pretty much the same. Have you won awards with your handphone? Uh, no, haven't entered anything yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll get you to share some of the photos that you have. Can, can. But to be honest, if you're given a choice, I would still prefer my own camera. <laughs> if you have a budget less than $1,000, that can execute whatever you're doing now. Okay, to be honest, if you have a budget of $1,000, I will ask you to go to Carousel, go and get the cheapest entry level DSLR. Maybe, I don't know, Canon now what is a 1100D or 600D, something like that, I don't know, because I don't really follow. But if you can get that, Below 500, it's good. Use the other 500 dollars to buy books. Yeah. And what books I meant? Buy photo books. The books will help you to develop a good photo. Because of uh, your reading and stuff, you can produce a good image. Yeah. So let's say about 5,000 dollars, right? 1,000 is for here. What do you do with the 4,000 dollars? So what you can do with that 4,000 dollars is go for classes. Uh, you can learn more and learn the proper way on how to take photo. Uh, yes, you can be a self-taught photographer. I'm a self-taught photographer, but not many self-taught photographers have that discipline to really understand the concept of photography. The art school, NAFA, LaSalle, they have short courses on photography. You can take it up. Use that money in that kind of field so that you can actually uh, make full use of your $1,000 gear. One piece of advice for complete beginners in photography. One piece of advice for intermediates in photography. To spend less on gears, you know. For one, gears are not cheap. And if you if you keep on spending, I don't know unless you're rich lah, then go ahead. <laughs> if not, I don't know how you want to sustain. Uh, especially as a working photographer, I think just get a gear that suits you and ditch the rest.